Ashley, you're chasing a story. Brutal murder of a bar owner. Cops have a lead. What do you got? Well, Bill, I'm standing in front of the Luna Lounge in Inglewood, New Jersey, where there is a makeshift memorial for Jennifer Londano, whose dismembered body was found floating in the Red Hook Channel in Brooklyn last week. Police now say Jennifer's blood was found inside the bathroom of her boyfriend's Brooklyn apartment. Jennifer was the manager of the Luna Lounge, which she helped open just last month. Jennifer was reported missing on June 25th. She was last seen closing the bar. Passersby spotted the torso in the channel on June 27th. Police released a photo of a tattoo on the body. Jennifer's mother identified her daughter by that tattoo and said the inscription was a tribute to Jennifer's late aunt Lily. She was so young and that she had to go like in such a cruel way, like it's crazy. Like, no human being should ever go through that. On Saturday, a jogger on the Upper West Side spotted what turned out to be part of Jennifer's leg in the Hudson River. How do you even like kill a person like that? Like I heard about her torso getting cut up and like took taken to New York. And like that's crazy. Like you can't do that to a person. Did you know her at all? No, but my my girlfriend's mom was actually friends with her, but I never met her. And you're just out here to pay your respect. Yeah, I just to pay my respect and I like, say some prayers. Now, friends have taken to social media to remember the young entrepreneur using the hashtag Justice for Jenny Londano. The family, I'm told, is too emotional to have, do any interviews right now. Now, an employee told me off camera that the Luna Lounge is closed for good, and we will continue to follow this story. You said the bar's been closed indefinitely? Yes. Was she, that's she what was the, the manager? Was she, a, was she an owner? She owned it, right? Yes, and, she, uh, and I heard that she used her life savings from a friend to open this bar. It was her dream. All right, thank you, Ashley.